close encounters of the fourth kind. That's when a person claims to have been kidnapped by a UFO and its reportedly otherworldly occupants. Of course, there's no tangible evidence that anyone has ever been taken aboard an extraterrestrial spacecraft. But there are those who claim they've been abducted, and their stories are chilling. Travis Walton's terrifying account, it is the stuff movies are made from, and he joins us on the HuffPost Weird News podcast to talk about that day 40 years ago, when then 22-year-old Lager says he was knocked unconscious, and woke up to find he was surrounded by ETs aboard their ship. It was a metallic, glowing disc, making some very strange sounds, Walton told us. The closer I got to it, the more scared we all got and they were swearing at me to get away from there, and when I got up close, it suddenly got louder and started to move. I jumped for cover and then jumped up to run back to the truck, and that's when this blast of energy hit me, and I just felt this numbing shock go through my body. But the crew said it threw me through the air 10 or 20 feet and I landed in a way that they were immediately certain it had killed me, and they fled. The incident began on NOV. 5. 1975, after a long day of work in the Sika Graves National Forest near Heber, Arizona. Walton and six other loggers were heading home when they suddenly saw a 40-foot diameter shiny disc hovering in the air. Walton first told his extraordinary story in a 1978 book, The Walton Experience, which became a 1993 film, Fire in the Sky. His account has just been turned into a candid documentary, Travis, The True Story of Travis Walton. Walton reveals the terrifying details of his experience at the hands of several non-human beings and his feelings of suffocation and the fear that he was dying as the event unfolded. When I was first able to focus my eyes good enough, I was still on the table. And as soon as I saw this face, and knew it wasn't human, I tried to hit it away from me. They were much smaller than me, and I think that's the reason they gave up. Once they found out they couldn't control me, they split. I was absolutely terrified. Walton, pictured at right, was declared missing for five days, during which time his logger buddies fell under suspicion of foul play. When Walton finally turned up again, not knowing how long he'd been gone, an intense investigation was underway, including multiple polygraph, physical and psychological tests. 